Nestled in the Rocky Mountains of Utah, Brigham Young University invites all to enter to learn to go forth to serve with the world as its campus. An extraordinary example of a great work going forward from BYU throughout the whole world is found just west of the BYU Library in the James Talmage Building. Up a flight of stairs, behind some basic office doors, and in a small computer lab. It began some 20 years ago when BYU computer science professors Dr. Tom Setterberg and Dr. Bill Barrett were inspired to begin the Family History Technology Lab. Since then, they have been joined by Dr. Clement and numerous BYU computer science students over the years to develop, as their goal states, simple, usable, and enjoyable family history apps and programs that are indeed being used the whole world over. Let's take a glimpse into these programs and see how they can be of great benefit to both new and accomplished family historians. We will not be able to explain everything about each program, but this presentation will hopefully serve as an introduction to stimulate us to learn more. Each program can be located by their name on the web, or one can go to the Family History Technology Lab homepage to then navigate to each. One can easily contact the lab with questions or suggestions. Since it is a nonprofit, donations are accepted to help with all the continued development. First of all, let's discover Relative Finder. Relative Finder is an extremely popular and enjoyable program that helps us connect to famous relatives and even relatives in the room around us. As in all the program, one logs in to gather family data from Family Search. It does take a minute to download your family tree information. Relative connections can be found from a number of famous public groups as authors and poets, declaration signers, entertainers, LDS prophets, Mayflower relatives, sports figures, etc. Relative Finder goes back 16 generations. Past that time, the, quest the information can be questionable. Relative Finder searched through thousands of my ancestors in the Family Search database. Look, I have 521 in these famous public groups. John Howland of the Mayflower is my ninth great grandfather. One can also search individual groups as LDS prophets. I have 17 that I'm related to. Harold B. Lee is my sixth cousin two times removed, or a two generation difference. I can also learn which ancestors the Prophet Joseph and I have in common. Searching relatives, I find that 33 of the 521 have the first name of John. In any of the categories, I can download the information to a CSV file, which is simple file format, in a spreadsheet as Excel or OpenOffice, or I can save the information as a PDF file can change the table options. I can change the reported path to my ancestor. Note to Mayflower member John Howland how I connect through my father, his mother, her mother, her father, etc. Cousin relationships are shown first, which is the default. I can change to search only direct line ancestors, of which I have only eight of the 522 relatives. If I look for direct lines in all groups except for Mayflower, guess what? I have none. Fortunately, I have some Mayflower ancestry, or I would be pretty unrelated directly to important people, it kind of looks like. Also fortunate for me and thousands of others, including a few U.S. presidents and LDS prophets, that our relative John Howland of the Mayflower, yet he held his hold, when in a severe storm he fell overboard and held onto the rope until rescued. In Relative Finder, I can learn more about my relationship to John Howland or any other relative. I can also find the descendants in the public groups of anyone as John Howland by using Masquerade. I learn that Fa Franklin D. Roosevelt is Howland's sixth great-grandchild and Humphrey Bogart his seventh great-grandchild. Important to note, Relative Finder is only as accurate as the data in Family Search. 
Recently, one evening at 7.30 p.m., I updated my family search data on Relative Finder. And to my total surprise, I was no longer as directly related to John Halland. In checking family search, someone with no sources replaced a daughter of John with someone other than my direct relative. This affected thousands of descendants. But one hour later, by 8.30 p.m., some dear soul had corrected in a kind, polite way the situation and again added 36 sources to prove such. So I am again correctly directly related to John. One can search more groups as featured groups as relationship to members of the 70 and handcart companies. I can also search hundreds of established community groups from wards to families to cities to missions to friends. Have a lot of fun and create your own group, either a private or community. I find that I'm cousins to about 70 of the 458 in the Mormon battalion, cousins to 50 of the 580 in the Martin Handcart Company. My teenage granddaughters were delighted that we are cousins to several characters from the Broadway musical Hamilton. You could discover your connection to any deceased person by putting in their PID number from Family Search. Thomas Ainsworth is my third great grandfather. Our relationship chart is extremely interesting. I can include pictures and note the country they were born in and even change the colors if I like. It is also very interesting to find relationships between you and a friend. A hint. It might be good to use Relative Finder to see how you are possibly related to someone you are thinking of marrying. One can also connect to a relative nearby. Just let Relative Finder find you. Maybe you will find some cousins close by. Here are a couple just around the BYU library why I am in the library. Relative Finder has a wonderful help section that gives more details on how to connect with deceased and living relatives. Relative Finder is indeed an extremely enjoyable program that helps once again a greater interest in who one was re related to. Every missionary should use Relative Finder to help those they gain contact a greater interest for their heritage. The new Family History Discovery Center in Salt Lake seems to be an offshoot of the exciting information on Relative Finder. The Family History Technology Lab has quietly been the foundation of so much in family history technology development. Yet, as Dr. Barrett stated, they follow the quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, There is no limit to what can be accomplished if it doesn't matter who gets the credit. Another exciting program is Virtual Pedigree, which is based on elastic paper technology, a technology developed by the lab for easy use on touchscreen tablets. After signing in with Family Search, one only needs to download a page once to discover all one's ancestors. Note Google Chrome or Firefox are the recommended browsers. Here is my father's line. By clicking and dragging, one can explore the whole tree. Or continue on the same page to discover my mother's line. Here you can change the display settings to your likings. And here you can see who you've recently searched. In virtual pedigree, family research is greatly aided by color-coded keys that note where possible children are not. Missing parents? And for LDS, their ancestors needing temple ordinances to be done. The orange temple feature signifies ancestors who could have temple work done if just a bit more information is added. Couple this with the feature on the right of the low-hanging fruit which lists all individuals on the page you were looking at who have sources available on Family Search that could be added to them. Just find a relative born about the early 1800s and set this person as a main root person. Then be amazed at all the color-coded keys that can provide help with family history research. Virtual Pedigree has a tremendous capacities that could be used a lot by more family historians. 
One can also click on any individual to find out their detailed information, their temple work, and follow a direct link to them on Family Search. I found Virtual Pedigree a bit more challenging to figure out as it uses the latest technology, but the more one becomes familiar with it, the more one sees how extremely useful it can be. The topical guide in the help section is extremely useful in discovering all the wonderful and helpful features of the program. Each section is understandable and directional. Virtual Pedigree not only gives an enlightening total overview of one's family tree, but it could really help among others in finding ordinances, finding records available to be attached, finding duplicate parents and duplicate spouses. As mentioned in the Doctrine and Covenants, section 84, in the ordinances is the power of godliness manifest. Another ordinance finding program from the lab is Descendancy Explorer. It is not on their website yet, as it is still in the approval or I think total working together stages with Family Search. Its website is as shown. Start this program when you go to bed, then get up in the morning and go to the temple with the family members needing the ordinances it found. You can search one line using a PID or search your whole family tree. After two and a half hours, it had searched most of the 8,000 records I had and found 18 ancestors needing ordinances done. Now that is really exciting. There are three main differences between Descendancy Explorer and some of the other tree searching apps. Descendancy Explorer only finds names that have at least one source attached will not give names that are duplicates. You will be directed to Relative Finder to see your relationship with the people found and then you can go to Family Search to prepare for the temple work. These are huge advantages. One issue I found is after I tried to run the program several times is that sometimes it seems to go only so far and stays there. From what I understand, it is at present an issue with Family Search not connecting correctly with such tree searching programs. When connected, right, Descendancy Explorer is a tremendous program to help in finding relatives needing temple work. Another Family History Technology Lab program is One Page Genealogy. This allows one to view, customize, and print your family tree all in one page. Again, yours or another tree is downloaded from Family Search. There are a number of various styles and features available to customize your family tree. This is the bubble style. You can make a chart colored from the country from which your ancestors were born. Here is a tree in family reunion style with various colors for the four branches. Here it's colored in warm pastels. Here in mixed pastels. There are so many variations. You can even color to trace chromosomes. If you don't like what you're creating, it's very easy to erase and start all over again. While Family Search is mostly for deceased ancestors, One Page Genealogy allows you to add living people, parents and children, and their information on your family tree so you can print a complete family tree, including both living and deceased family members. Note. None of this live person information you add on your one page genealogy chart will be added to Family Search. Again, the content and help sections are very well written and understandable. Wow, the possible charts are fun and fantastic. Children and teens can use their great creative skills to develop some really special family charts. Pedigree Pie is the next great program from the lab that shows your international heritage on one chart. After logging into Family Search, you can look at yours or another person's heritage. I learned that up through six generations, 75% of my relatives are from England, 12% Sweden, 10% US, and a few from Canada, Ireland, and Scotland. Pedigree Pi has a special feature to discover extrapolate unknowns, which finds percent of unknown individuals in one's family tree. I find that 12% of my fourth great-grandparents are unknown. 
and 45% of my six great grandparents are unknown. Thus, Pedigree Pi points out family areas that really need more research to be done. Clicking on each square in the pie tells you who the individual is. Pedigree Pi gives some fun basic family history information and also some in-depth information for the family research historian. A really fun family history game developed by the lab is Jennifer D. One can make the game easier or harder depending on the number of generations used from three to eight that the questions will be drawn from. Up to four teams can play. Questions are available from your family tree about dates, places, people, facts, or other. Here is a question about which of these ancestors immigrated from the United Kingdom. Hooray, I got that right. And which of these ancestors died in 1983? I goofed up thinking the year was 1883. Fortunately, I can get half points for trying again and getting it right this time. Jenna Perdi is a really fun family history game that would be great for Sundays, family home evenings, reunions, along with ward and stake discovery events. Another exceptional fun family history game developed by the lab is Wheel of Family Fortune. You can play by yourself or up to four players. For this game, my grandson daughter and I play. It is best to read the directions to make sure we're all abiding the rules. After all, we are all competitive and want to make sure the other doesn't get the advantage. The featured ancestor was born in 1802. Seeing the numbers of letter, I know that this is my great-great-grandmother, but I don't tell. Grandson Daniel is rocking it with his selection of letters, but he spins and goes bankrupt. Ha ha ha, we all laugh. They figured out the last name, but not the first. My daughter gets a couple of letters and then misses. Ah, now it's time for the old man's turn to show what he can do. I could win out right now, but I'm greedy, wanting to get some money by guessing letters I already know. Then unfortunately on my next spin, I lose a turn. They both cheer for my unfortunate demise. Daniel thinks he has an ID and a gets a couple of letters to make sure. Then he names the ancestor and wins the game. The younger generation really does think they know more than the older. And with this game, grandson Daniel again proves that. Relative Finder, Virtual Pedigree, Descendancy Explorer, One Page Genealogy, Pedigree Pie, Genoperdy, and Wheel of Family Fortune really do meet the goals of the Family History Technology Lab in providing simple, usable, and enjoyable family history apps and programs that are used the world over. Now it's up to us to discover more in depth what is sweeping the family history technology world.